All right, so today we're doing a backwards Ironman. That means we're doing a full marathon into 180 kilometers on the bike with a 3.8 kilometer swim at the end. So from now, the pool shuts in 12 hours, so we'd better get started. So far, so good. It's gonna be a fun, gnarly day. And yeah, it's just about having fun. Like, I feel like there's a very short window of time in my life where I'm going to be capable of doing things like this. So I don't want to just be doing like one or two races per year. I want to be able to go out on a weekend without much notice and push myself and see how far we can go. So nutrition for this one, I'm going to be looking to take on about 50 grams of carbs per hour, just in the form of S Fuels race gel and their race drink. And then hopefully for the run, I'm gonna try and run between 3.20 and 3.30. I think that'll set me up well to still have enough energy left for the bike. But, I mean, uncharted territory here. <laughs> as far as I know, no one's actually done an Ironman in reverse order before. So, I have no idea how that bike's gonna feel. And I am dreading the swim. I'm expecting a lot of cramps, but it's gonna be a good fun day. Keep passing by the S Fuels models when I come back. Yep, S Fuels coming right up. Lockie, you forgot the most important thing. Oh, unreal, El. So, actually, pretty stoked because. This video is brought to you by Status Audio. They're the first sponsor to actually throw some cash into one of my videos. If you've seen all my other videos, you'll know I typically run with wired earphones in. And so to get a pair of noise cancelling wireless earphones, it actually is a bit of a game changer. So pretty stoked to have them on board for this one. Discount code and all that in the description. Check them out, an American based company coming out of Brooklyn, new starter. Good quality earphones, highly recommend. Get onto it. Let's go. Oh. Honestly, this is where it feels like the work actually starts because you don't really pick up too much fatigue until the 30k mark, but now's the point where I get tired. And so pretty much I think it's going to be this sort of feeling for the rest of the day now. Yeah, what? Only 180k's to, to 180K go on the bike? 180k on the bike, short 3.8 kilometer swim, and then like, a, yeah, still another 12k running on top of that as well. Nice. And should say it's, it's not cold, is it? It's, uh, it's not cold. It's 8am, it's currently 24 degrees Celsius, expecting tops of about 31, 32, so... It's going to be warm. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Alright. How's it going? One and a half K left. Legs are like, they're corpse. Like, as you'd expect. So, I think once you get on the bike, you be feeling good. What, what sort of marathon pace have you got? Marathon, nothing fast. I mean, I was expecting to run like a 320, but it's gonna end up being a bit over 330. I think just because it's so hot, like my heart rate's just way higher than I was expecting. So I don't want to push anything too hard here. I want to set myself up for a good, uh, good bike ride. So it's gonna be, a cruisy, probably, I don't know, 335 maybe. It's so windy though, that's the thing I'm most like concerned about is bike's gonna be a real grind going up and down in this wind. So, I mean, just gonna be a grinder of a day. Marathon. Yeah, a bit of a controversial. 
controversial opinion here, but I go underwear under the tri suit. How are you feeling for the bike? What are you? Yeah, I mean, your plan of attack. I feel alright. No, my, my plan of attack is just to try and hold a steady rhythm and get to the pool by 4:30 to give us an hour and a half to then swim. I mean, there's no no idea what this 180k bike ride is going to entail. Definitely never done anything like this before, so let's see how we go. You also can't tell with the camera, but it's quite windy. Oh, you'll hear it. And uh, it's also approaching 30 degrees at the moment, so windy and hot. We got a lot of nice girls. I'm racing. Sunscreen, I think. Oh man. <laughs> How's it like to do the bike leg after a marathon? It's actually brutal. <laughs> it's so brutal. My feet are killing me. Like killing me. I have to take my shoes off. My head's so hot in the helmet. I gotta take my shoes off because my feet oh just aching from the sunscreen. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. It's like it feels like it actually feels very similar to when you run off the bike, like how you just feel yeah. Exhausted from the start. Yeah. Just the ultimate. Just tired. Like, not, not so much pain in my legs, just tired. Sunscreen is better. Oh, oh man. This is so cooked. <laughs> All right. I've stopped helmets too because the heat's starting to play a bigger factor than any aerodynamics, and I don't want to overheat in the TT helmet. So, back onto the old mountain bike helmet. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, let's do it. Nice warm conditions to do an Ironman. I'm actually feeling really good. Like, it's the best I've felt since probably 20k into the run. Like, it's funny after we stopped and stretched my legs out, got back on, and yeah, feeling real strong now. So, on track to be at the pool by I think 4 p.m., which gives us plenty of time. It gives us like two hours to finish the swim, so looking good. We just lost half of it. Peanut butter. Uh, he's doing an Ironman triathlon. <laughs> My feet are killing me. This is going to be a very fun swim. We are on track though to finish within that 12 hour cutoff. There is a bit of a storm coming though, so the lightning might be a bit of an issue at the pool, but we will cross that bridge when we come to it. We're almost done. <laughs> that was so gnarly. Gotta stop it. 6.21 elapsed time. So there was a few stops in there. Oh my god. <laughs> it's hot. 
That was just so gnarly. Yeah. All right. What have we got? 3.8k swim left. Let's do it. Just a, like that was 180k of crosswinds. Yeah. <laughs> like the non stop wind on the side. Yeah. <laughs> it's 33 degrees at the moment as well at 3 pm. So. Yeah. Pretty warm. Yeah. Oh. All right. Feel pretty good, honestly. Like energy levels, not too bad, but gnarly, gnarly on the legs. 4:10, so we've got an hour and 50 minutes before the pool shuts, and I reckon two minutes per 100 average is gonna be pretty impressive. Really? Well, we, I don't know. We'll see. The thing that hurt the most was me feet, eh? Hmm. Is that normal? I've never had it before, and no. I like it wasn't muscle pain in my feet. It was just like they were aching. It's weird. It's like you. Sort of like you've been on your feet all day, I guess, but... Sort of like you had. Yeah. <laughs> all right, how are you looking? Oh, you're looking good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah just... Body's a bit beat up. <laughs> the biggest issue I've got is I've lost my drawstring on one side, so oh. I don't know if I'm going to lose me, lose me dax when I tumble dax. turn, so... Solid grind. Tough conditions solid as well. Day. But that's what it's all about. Well done. Oh, very good. I said I'm out with the boys drinking. I said I'm out with the boys drinking. 